All right, you guys, at the beginning of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the forecast and then we're going to go out for a little drive. You guys are not going to believe what's going to happen up here. You got to listen to what I'm telling you on this video. It's going to be insane, you guys. If you guys like what I do, please hit like, subscribe, help a brother out because I like doing what I do to help you guys out. You guys aren't going to believe this. This is awesome. Look at the temperatures in the next few days. The first day was the 21st. This is the 22nd. Now the bigger snow comes into play on the 23rd, three to five inches in the morning, three to five inches at night. Same thing on Friday. And then Saturday. Then we're gonna get a few days break and then we got more, more coming in. Oh guys, this is gonna be lovely. Well, what is up, folks? How y'all doing today? You guys, it's uh, February 18th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. We have something pretty crazy coming in, you guys. I really hope this pans out. I really hope this pans out. So basically, this video real quick, I'm, I'm just going to do a short little drive just to show you guys what it's looking like out there right now so you guys can see. Obviously, we'll be doing the calm before the storm come, come, uh, come Monday. So this, guys, this is gonna be crazy. So listen to this. You guys are not gonna believe this, those of you who don't follow the weather too much. Well, first of all, we're on Big Bear Boulevard. Let me show you the map real quickly. Hang on, give me a moment. Give me a moment, Sha. Give me a moment, huh? Hang on. Okay, so. Guys, we got some crazy stuff happening. This is where we're at right now, in accordance to the lake. I know it's a horrible view. I don't know why it's sideways like that, but it is. I know you can't see it too well. It's 47 degrees, 2 p.m. Okay, guys, so we've got, we've got something happening. Basically, where we get the polar vortex, from above the pole, North Pole area, there's a massive, massive amount of heat that's dropping in as we speak and heavily. And what it's doing is it's pushing all that cold air in a way that we haven't seen in a long time, you guys. It's destroying the cold air up there and pushing it all the way down here. And I mean, it's gonna get down here. For instance, you guys, once, it, uh, once we get to next like Wednesday and Thursday or Thursday and Friday, Redlands is going to get snow. San Bernardino is going to get snow. Yukaipa could get a foot of snow. You guys, are like are you hearing me? I know that's that's going to happen for sure the snow down there, okay? So at the bottom of the mountain, there's going to be snow. It's going to be incredible. Up here we if everything works out, we could get 2 feet of snow. So I'm hoping that that works out, but uh next two or uh, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday our temperatures are not going to get out of the 20s for our high temperatures. They're going to be in the low to mid 20s, you guys. By far the coldest, coldest air we've had all season long. And the crazier thing is, is that one of those days, we might not even get out of the teens for a high temperature. So what that means, guys, is the colder the air, the more moisture that will squeeze out of these storm systems, okay? And with what's going on, it's going to create more lift at our mountain range, which means even more snow. So if everything works out, we could get a couple feet of snow up here. I'm, I'm, I'm predicting 12 to 16 inches. That's what I'm predicting. A lot of the forecasts are saying a couple feet of snow is possible, um, maybe a little bit more, but I'm, I'm not gonna go that far, even though it does look viable. It really, this time you guys, it really looks good. So just, oh my gosh, those of you who want to be up here in the most incredible snow, this is going to be snow like you get in, in Colorado, you guys. It's going to be a powder, a very fine powder. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Everything's supposed to begin on Tuesday night, this next Tuesday night. So please keep that in mind. Those of you coming up here, try to get here no later than Tuesday morning. And another really good thing about the storm being midweek is that these hotels are not going to be raising their prices. It's, it's gonna be the same weekday prices, you guys. So please, get your buns up here and get ready for this. This is gonna be our biggest event of the season. 
This is gonna be absolutely incredible and I'm really looking forward to it for you guys. So here's Snow Summit straight ahead. Guys, everything around here is gonna be so different in a week. It's gonna be incredible. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be spectacular. I am so excited. More excited for you guys to come up here and, and get to experience this. Um, as you guys know, I will be out in the storms doing everything that I need to do. Um, and then also what I was thinking about doing, um, because these videos take a long time to upload, when the storm begins, after the calm, before the storm video, I'm gonna start doing shorts to let you, so you guys can see what's going on immediately. And then right after I do the short video, I'll be going and doing my whole drives and stuff like that. Cause I don't want you guys to be waiting in anticipation, knowing that it's snowing up here, but waiting for me. So I'll be uploading shorts, um, as well as my regular long videos driving around town. I'm really excited you guys, this is gonna be epic. But for right now, I just wanted you guys to see what's what's going on here in town on Saturday, uh, February 18th, 2023. There's there's hardly any snow left in town, you guys. It's, it's really dismal. But as I said, this is gonna be so much different shortly. I am so excited, you guys. Once again, this, what is happening over the oh, over the North Pole and in the stratosphere not just our troposphere in the stratosphere um, you you get a lot of weather up there and there's massive amounts of heat that are driving all that cold air down down here this this may not have been this massive in over 30 years you guys I'm not talking about the snowfall amount I'm just talking about what's happening and what's also looking good is that in March we could be getting a huge march as well, guys. A very cold and very wet march. So just keep your fingers crossed, you guys. This could be this could be what we've been waiting for all season long and maybe for the past few years. This is gonna be something unbelievable. So I just want you guys to hang in there. Um, if you can take time off of work, I never condone calling in sick, but call in sick and get your buns up here. I want you guys to experience this. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, I was going to try to pick up my other Subaru at, uh, the auto mechanic shop down in Yukaipa before the storm. So I could beat that thing up a little bit because this storm is going to be bad for my car because you guys know that I go out and do everything in the storm. So it's really important, really important, um, to get that, that car back. But I don't think I'm going to be able to because I have to pay the damn thousand dollar deductible and I just don't have it right now. But I'm trying to find a way to make that happen. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, this is this is exciting. So right now we're on a street called Catalina. We're gonna go into Moonridge the back way just so you guys can get more of a little view of some of the snowier parts of town, how much snow is left. Um, but yeah, super, super, super excited. As I said, once again, Everything's supposed to begin Tuesday night, okay? We could get one to three inches of snow on Tuesday night. On Wednesday, it looks like maybe an inch or two during during the day, but then at nighttime, we could get up to five inches. Thursday during the day, up to five inches. Thursday night during the evening, another five inches. And even Friday morning, we, we, we could possibly get another three to five inches. Um, and then we're gonna get a little bit of a break and then we have some more snow coming in shortly after that a few days after that So guys, this is gonna be something off the wall and it's gonna be a good amount of snow So just oh my gosh be ready you all be ready uh, Let's see. Okay, so we're probably gonna just keep on driving on this street for a moment. It turns into Sonoma right right up here So we're gonna turn right on Sonoma And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, there's hardly any snow. We're in Moonridge right now. Hardly any snow anywhere. But I'm telling you guys, I am so excited about this. This is gonna be epic, epic! Oh my gosh, I, I, I literally cannot wait. And as I said, during Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, our temperatures are not gonna get out of the low to mid 20s during the day and at nighttime it's going to be down into the single digits most of the time i think one of those days guys we could have one of those days where i could be doing a video on seeing us get down to zero so keep your fingers crossed i think we've 
we uh, have gotten really close this season, but I don't think we've hit zero yet. If we did, I made a video, I promise. But anyway, here we are coming up to Moon Ridge Road. We're just gonna take a quick drive up by Bear and then come back down and around. But my goodness, you guys, this is incredible. Here's the, here's the zoo. I wanted to, to do the zoo this week, but it's, it's, I just, I just couldn't. Here's the golf course, folks. So there's hardly any snow on the golf course anymore. You can see a bunch of green patches or brown patches. Um, oh my gosh, everything's gonna be so different soon. I can't stress to you guys enough. This is, this is gonna be our storm of the season, our series of storms of the season. And finally, the time lapse. I don't know why the time lapses don't get that many views. Like it just blows my mind because they're so awesome. But um, see, I think this is private property on the golf course. But I always tell you guys, if you want to go make a snowman and stuff, just just make sure you, you, you like like you don't see the no trespassing signs and stuff. But I'm I'm pretty sure they don't they don't want folks out there. But um, just as I said, always follow the rules. Um, and yeah, I know the guy who is the head greenskeeper for that golf course. His name's Mike. I, I and he's he does the he, the guy is incredible, and so he works really hard to maintain that that course. And he doesn't get too too much time in the summer and uh, fall before we close again to do these things because it's uh like there's not much time in between our snow each season. So the dude does an incredible job. Mike, keep up the good work, dude. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. So we are entering kind of middle Moon Ridge over by Bear Mountain. And as I said, we're going to drive right by Bear. Oh, it's just so beautiful out here, you guys. As I said, the temperature is 47 degrees. I can guarantee you guys, we're gonna get a winter storm warning issued, and we could even for the first time this season get a, a blizzard warning issued. My prediction, because of seeing how massive this event is, and seeing how close together the isobars are on the on the radar, that's an indication of very strong winds. So guys, oh my gosh, I am so excited. So here we go, we are about to pass Bear Mountain right here. Okay, we're coming up to Bear. Oh my goodness. Let's take a nice look. Oh, look at this guy's car in front of us. Hang on. Look at this freaking rear. It got smashed. The guy's window got smashed out. Holy moly. But guys, look at this. Look at how beautiful it is. So many people. All the parking lots are so full today, you guys. Every single one is so full. But if you guys come up during this week, during the storm, or before the storm, because I'm, I'm thinking it could be so bad that they might shut down one of the major roads to get into town. <clears throat> this is gonna be an event for us to always remember. We're, we're, this is gonna be something special, you guys. And I know we've heard that before, but I promise you, this is gonna be something different. Everyone's trying, trying to go forward, guy. Like, what's up, man? No, I'm just going, I'm, I'm going home, I'm going back home. Be careful with your phone. Of course. Always careful with my phone. Thank you. You be careful stand be careful standing in the street, my man. <laughs> Later. Alright, here we go. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be so awesome. I don't even know what to do with myself about this. Like I am beyond excited. Okay. I, guys, I can't wait until Monday to do the calm before the storm video. This is because I'll, I'll drive the whole town 
this is the calm before the storm video when we do it Monday that is the one that actually means something a lot because you'll be able to see through the whole town exactly what we have left and then the major major difference once like we get to the aftermath video it's going to be so cool to go back and watch the calm before the storm video and then go to the very last video of this storm system and just see what the damage was in terms of how much snow it's going to be awesome yes look at all this snow over here still though So check it out also if you guys are still watching i'm i'm considering giving away a few more gift cards of 50 dollars value those visa and mastercard gift cards uh if we hit a certain amount of likes on some of these videos coming up so i will consider what i can do i don't have the money to do it but i'll you know i've paid off a lot of my uh credit cards the past year and a half and i love you guys so much i wouldn't mind coughing up a little money like that um, but I want us to get a ton of likes on these freaking videos I'm really 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 trying to grow this channel now you guys after so many years I still don't know what the heck I'm doing but thankfully this is a, a, a serious passion of mine and no matter what you guys even if this channel gets to a certain growth like twice as many as as we have right now subscribers I'm not gonna change who I am you guys I I will never change I promise you guys, I will always consistently be here for you guys, love you guys, give you guys the best information that I know how to give, and just try to keep you guys safe, and show you guys such beauty. This is going to be absolutely gorgeous, just gorgeous, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited, I can't believe it. So we're on Moonridge Road now, we're back on Moonridge Road, we just turned from a road called Club View. Let's see here. Let's see. Here. Let me uh, plug my phone in because we're about to lose battery. We're about to lose battery. 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 So, guys, February 18th, 2023, Big Bear, California. Um, in one, two, in three days, three and a half days, the biggest systems of the season, coldest air of the season everything that we're looking for is all going to happen at once so just be prepared once again do what you can to get your butts up here please 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 i want you guys to come up here and have a great time come up here monday if you can or early on on tuesday all right i love you guys to death thank you for everything if, if you guys enjoy what i do and the efforts that i put into this please hit like and subscribe because it is going to help push me to the next level and uh get my videos seen all all over the world even though they get seen that way now i would love that i love you guys tremendously peace out